Hey, Dallin, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. How's the process going for you? We, we hear good things, but how's the process of getting back to where you want to be going? Uh, I think it's going good. The, the first few practices are definitely a little just weird getting back into football and playing football again and just trying to remember how to even play football. But uh, it feels really good just every day. I feel like I'm learning again, and getting back, back to my feet and where I want to be. Yeah, Dallin, coming off of a mission, is there any physical advantage that you feel like you've picked up from that time off? Uh, I mean, I definitely feel like I've like my body has matured more, and uh, I feel more comfortable in my body now, and especially just after that first year, learning a bunch of things, and uh, now going into my second year, I feel like there's a um, a lot of advantages that um, I have now. We saw you in a pretty multifaceted role when you were at BYU as a freshman, do you envision kind of playing that same type of a role, or are you just willing to fit in wherever? Um, yeah, I'm willing to uh, do the same thing, but I mean, whatever it really takes for us as a team to win and to be the best that we can be um, is what I'll, I'll try to do. Okay, go ahead, Trevor. Hey, Dal. So between you and Isaac Rex, you have a really fantastic tight end room going into the season. What do you think is going to be your biggest strength in adding to the amazing year that Isaac Rex had last year? What do you think you two can do to complement each other so that, you know, whoever's playing quarterback can find you both open on the field? I mean, it's always good to have, um, especially in our tight end room, it's a really talented tight end room. So, I mean, uh, it's good that when one of us comes out that the next person can come right back in and, and keep doing good and uh, keep killing defenses. So it'll be good um, to have us both in there and to – have all the tight ends in there together. Okay, let's go Sean and then Jay. Uh, yeah, Dan, I'm kind of just following up on that a little bit. How deep is this tight end room? Because we obviously know what you did during your freshman year. Uh, some of us have been following you for, for a while. We know what, what Isaac did last year. I don't know how much you've been caught up to speed on all that too, but how, how deep does this group go? And is it is it a group that you can see uh, coaches kind of maybe figuring out ways to get multiple multiple sets of you guys on the field at the same time, even? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think there's um, about six or seven of us right now in the tight end room, and I mean, any of us any of us could really play. Um, it's competitive and it, and it's fun, and uh, yeah, I definitely feel like uh, there's different um, different ways that we could all uh, help out the offense when we're in. Yet, uh, Sean asked the question I was going to ask uh, Dallin, so I'll just throw out one. Uh, who's the best golfer on the team? Who? Which you guys went to Top Golf uh, yesterday? Who? Who's the guy I want in my foursome? <laughs> um, I was, I was going to say Jared, but he just walked in, so I don't want his head to get too big. So I'd probably have to go with, um, let's see. No, either Jaren or, or Baylor. I heard they're both pretty good. They're too scared to go with me because they know I'd beat them. But So probably one of those two. All right, thanks. Okay, Bryce and then Greg. So Dallas, since it's been a, about three years since your last um, action on the football field, what do you feel like you have added to your game that, they, that we may not recognize from, these past, from the last time you played? Uh, yeah, I kind of just experience. Uh, when I came in, I was 18 years old. I didn't really have know a lot of things or, or even about football. But I feel like that time away, I was able to mature a lot, and especially by going on a mission, just learn different things and um, be able to learn and to grow. So I think that's helped me out a ton. And now going into my my sophomore season, I'm 21, so it's uh, a big difference. <laughs> So also to like add on that, for those who may not remember when you did play, what would be the, like the biggest asset to your game or your biggest strength? Um, like while, when I was my first year? Uh, yeah. Um, I feel like I'm just, uh, I mean, I'm taller and I'm bigger, but I can still uh, run and uh, do those types of things. So I think just be able to be bigger and be able to run fast. <laughs> Hey, Dallin, uh, 
maybe you've talked about it in the past and I've missed it, but 32 is not the most common tight end number, but it is a pretty big number at BYU with Dennis Pitta. Is there a Pitta connection between you and him and that number, and is it something you're aware of? Oh, I'm definitely aware of it. I mean, I respect his game a lot and try to watch it and try to replicate what he does. Um, but my freshman year, they just gave me the number, so I stuck with it, so I really like it. But uh, I'm happy to, to try to represent it the best that I can. So it was total luck that you got 32. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. All right, Mitch, last question. Yeah, Dallin, uh, I remember the, the seeing the photos when you first came to BYU. You were in, like, a junior jazz or something with Zach Wilson. Uh, what was it like out in the mission field? Did you get wind of all the kind of craziness that Zach was creating in college football last year? And was it like seeing him become the number two pick? Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty crazy. I remember uh, when, I, when I left, actually, um, to go on my mission, Zach texted me, and he's like, "Oh, like, congrats! Like, I'll see you later and stuff." And I was like, "I was like, yeah, at least we'll get one more year when I get back." And then he he texts me back saying that we're not gonna get another year. So that shows the confidence that he had in himself. Um, but it was pretty crazy. I remember my parents calling me and telling me like, "Yeah, he's projected to go top 10." And then it was like top two. It was super cool, and I'm super ha uh, happy for him. What do you think, or what's kind of the, the chemistry? Because you got to play with Zach in your first year um, in, in the back half of the season. What, what's been maybe the chemistry you formed with this current crop of quarterbacks that uh, sound to be pretty good? Um, I mean, I was with them, uh, with the other quarterbacks too my first year. I came in with some of them. And so we're always doing workouts together and, and we're always together. So it's a family here. So it's not really like anybody's ever left out or anything like that. So we're all really close, a, a close group, and it's fun to be around them. Thanks, Dallin. All right. Thanks, Dallin. Thank you.